Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today I'm back with another movie review and today we're going to talk about the Mitchells versus the Machines and yeah, I'm reviewing this now because it is an Oscar animated nominee for this Sunday so I watched check it out and see if it was better than Encanto, Luca and I think two others but yeah, let me know what you think down below with this. Do you think we'll win at the Oscars on the weekend? And of course, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like if you enjoy what you're here. And let me know down below if you think it's even that good of a film. And spoilers ahead. Enjoy. So let's drive straight into the review. And I want to talk about some of the most iconic things from this film that just made me laugh. That was just brilliant. The first thing is the Furby thing. Um, all I've ordered this review, but just stay with me. The thing in this supermarket store where it comes across, um, the Furbies, everything's coming alive that has this specific um, company on that's taking over the world with robots and whatnot. And when the Furbies start attacking them, <laughs> it's just brilliant. And I heard this took seven attempts to get them in the film for Hasbro to agree. It was brilliant marketing. It was brilliant to see these iconic toys come to life and become sort of killers, murderers. And I thought it just fit the film so well. This film is so goofy and funny and brilliant and worthy of the word masterpiece when you talk about animation. You know, it's got elements of stories you've seen before, you know, a parent not getting along with its kid, family bickering. Um, but like the young lad in the family, um, Aaron, the voice actor of him actually directed and wrote this as well. So huge props and credit to him. Um, he, he likes this girl who's one of his neighbours. He, he sort of freaks out and will say the most random things and sort of just run away. And he just does it at the start and the end. And I think it's so hilarious. Like, there's a scene later in the film, the, 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 the fighting with the robots, and these red robots obviously come in. And the mum goes full on, like, ninja and uh, she's just taking them out ripping them apart and her son's just watching the entire thing going mum has just lost the absolute plot and you know fast forward a bit um the dad and the daughter are both fighting the ropes as well <laughs> and you see these robots going run away you know and it's just a mother chasing them and i think it was depicted so well these robots were meant to be fierce and you know Thrightful, and then they, they're saying things like, Oh, she's gone full on crazy, she's this, that, the other. The casting was brilliant, the story was driven from the start to the end. She wanted to get away from her family, they went on a bit of a road trip to get to the school. End of the world happened, they stood together, they used what they knew to get um, closer to each other. And by the end of it, you know, they're all fighting for each other, working together to save the world. And they become a close unit. They become what they should have always been, you know, through the flashbacks, the video camera, the little moose thing um, that he got from his original house and gave to his daughter. I I love everything about this film. Um, it's definitely one of the greatest animation films I've ever seen. It's so easy to watch. It's a cool concept. I like when the robots come into it and they sort of just... Uh, the two the, um the two deformed ones or this this and disembodied disoriented um they sort of end up teaming up with the uh, mitchells and i i, I love their role in it how they didn't die at the end because of their this ornament this own uh, they disown themselves from pal that's the one evil woman that takes over from mark's product betraying him at the start of the film and you know, this film, the animation style was brilliant. I love how there was like rainbows in the background or thunder or screws or food or whatever it may be in the background just to, comp just to help out the scene. It just works so well. Um, and everyone that worked on this, you can just tell there was just comedy in every scene that complemented such seriousness. Um, and for most of this film... I thought Rick was both voiced by Seth Rogen. It's voiced by someone else who's very famous as well, but the name is not coming to my mind. But uh, yeah, go check this out for yourself if you haven't. It's just got so many good scenes. 
the, the story between um, Katie and Rick all the way through gets better. They become close by the end of it. Um, when they started singing um, uh, My uh, He, My uh, Ha, that was just brilliant. How <laughs> it was such an iconic way to end the film. And then for the dog, you know, at the end, he's been awful for catching stuff all over the film. The phone drops all the way to the bottom, bounces off the umbrella. He thinks he's going to catch it when he sorts his eyes out and he just goes into a glass of water. The dog was funny and he was one of the best parts of the film as well, just because of how stupid he was, but how cute he was at the same time. So it works so well. Like I said, the Furby moment was probably my, my, my most iconic scene in the old film. And when the giant Furby comes out, you're thinking, Jesus. And she has like laser beams, which was crazy. This film... I've put off for way too long and it's a film that everyone should check out because it's just a truly, a truly good example of how to make a good, funny, entertaining, easy and animation to watch for every age. I think it fits because if you're in the college, you want to see it. If you're into robots and fantasy and sci-fi, if you're into just a family road trip, like vacation, you're going to enjoy everything about this. So, that's that. Go check it out for yourself on Netflix. Let me know if you think it will win the Oscars on the weekend and let me know down below. It will 100% be Encanto. It's just so much better than that film. And Luca was good, but it's definitely going to beat Luca. So I'll let you know my opinions on Saturday. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you next one. Goodbye. Oh, and before I go, obviously, I'm going to give this film a perfect 10 out of 10. Um, just simply perfection subscribe like i'll see you in the next one goodbye